Hey, today we're learning all about the interesting world of mayonnaise while we play My Name is Mayo. I'm going to see if we can find, uh, I want to go through some of these other, uh, add-ons to the face of the, of the jar. I like this mustache. This is the mustache that my, uh, Arthur in Red Dead is sporting right now. Hmm. I'm going to see if I could read what the uh, label says here. Oh. Here, I can make it so you don't have to squint so hard. Where is... There's one that doesn't have anything. Green Lava's Delicious Unique Grand Mayo. Packaged by Wobi? 1949 San Jose. I wonder if that's real. That's probably just made up. I like that you have a disembodied man hand. <laughs> and like, why are we poking it? You know, <laughs> like why? <laughs> Just why not? Tapping it. Hey. Why not like turning it upside down and trying to like Pat bang it. it out? Yeah. Instead, we're just kind of like, hey, hey. <laughs> Wake up, little mayonnaise. All right, here's another mayo fat. Mayonnaise with pickled onion and cucumber is known as tartar sauce. Ranch dressing is prepared with minced onion, mayonnaise, and dill, and buttermilk, and dill. <laughs> Thousand Island is prepared using pickle relish, ketchup, spices, and assorted herbs mixed with mayonnaise. I actually didn't know mayonnaise was and all that stuff. I don't really, you know, eat ranch. What? Or Thousand Island. I don't eat Thousand Island, but I eat ranch a lot. What's wrong with ranch? It's gross. You're gross. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, I don't like anything like... Uh, too oniony or pickly. Mm. Or... Okay, I can. That's that's fair then. I take yeah. back those mean face gestures I just made towards Link about mean that face one. gestures. You know, <laughs> I'm going like... to be editing this video. <laughs> I'm going to be like cutting to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, I I went out um, in college uh, with a friend of mine, my brother-in-law, actually, and. Uh, well, we got a sandwich and I got Thousand... No, it wasn't Thousand Island. It was Horseradish. Horseradish oh, yeah. came on it. And I've never had a Horseradish before. So it was like my first Horseradish. And I didn't know what it was. And so I was eating it. And I'm just like, what the hell is this? It tastes like bad mayonnaise. But I just kept eating it. And then uh, I found it, it. It was Horseradish. And I just became immediately revolted by it. Like, if I could handle bad mayo, I think, but for some <laughs> reason, knowing it was horseradish, it just became disgusting. No, I don't want this. Like, I don't even know what a horseradish is, really, to be honest with you. Yay! Okay. Oh, that was it? All right, I will hand you the, the facts. I think I was on number 10. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, I didn't read number 10 yet. Oh, man, Mallory. What did you... <laughs> How did you do this for 5,000 times? I don't know. I'm kind of regretting it. My hand hurts. Can you, can you push any of these other buttons? To tap? No, you can't. Oh. Oh! What does this mean? There's a leaderboard. That's how many times they've hit the mayonnaise? Oh my god! Seriously! Look at this. That's like 9 million times. Yeah. Holy. No, wait. That's 95 million times. 92 million times. Why? <laughs> Why? You guys are dedicated. Congrats. Alright, so there's no other buttons, really. No, you're just hitting X. I was hoping, like, if there were two buttons, I could, like, double Alternate. double tap it. Yeah. But no, you just gotta, you gotta thumb it. I like when he pokes his thumb twitches. This year? <laughs> <laughs> now we're, like, trying it. Yeah, I don't... I don't do that. Uh. Oh, and you gotta be like right in the middle of the jar, too. 
All right, I'm gonna put something to dress it up. That's what's on there now, which is Oh. Uh, oh, I see. I see, I'm getting the hang of this. Every time, every human spent about half an hour as a single cell. That didn't do anything. Well, you gained some knowledge. It may, that that's what it did. That was a good half hour, I gotta say. Before life hits you. Okay, let's try this. Ordinary <laughs> mail. Why don't you, you why don't you drop some knowledge on us? Here here is a new mayonnaise fact. If you run out of conditioner, all you have to do is pick up a bottle of mayonnaise and bring it to your empty conditioner bottle. Read the instructions on the conditioner bottle and do exactly as said, but with mayonnaise. What? Yes. So wait, why is part of the instruction put it in the conditioner bottle? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why you would have to put it back in there and <laughs> yeah. squeeze it out like to trick yourself, like, oh I do have conditioner, so I can mayonnaise, like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like what's the point of that? But it does say on here vegetable oil, egg yolk, and vinegar are all good for hair health. And using this condiment as a conditioner will leave your hair healthy, soft, and shiny. So if you don't <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> <laughs> we broke the game. I gave him the game literally for two minutes, and it's broken. Uh, uh. <laughs> wow, you broke it. All right, let's just try to get back in here. If we have to start back over at one, I'm done. <laughs> like, we're done. Oh, okay, the banana saves. Okay, perfect. I mean, I can't. I guess you can't really be too upset. It was only a dollar. Yeah, we're we're good here. Okay. Good. <laughs> um. Okay. So I was gonna choose identity issues, but then how do you get back? Just press triangle. That, oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We're cool. We're good. We're good. Okay. Um. But that's sorry. It, you're you're saying about conditioner? conditioner? Yeah. So you could use mayo as conditioner, but it has to come from the conditioner bottle. <laughs> it has bottle. to come from the conditioner bottle. No no squeezing it out of those squeeze tubes. You have to put it from the tube to the conditioner bottle into your hair. That was smell disgusting, though. The what? mayonnaise looks like it has my haircut. I'm feeling some sort of way about that. You know, this is called identity issues. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I feel better now. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't wait, feel like it's that hilarious, but I can see where it could be funny. I wonder if dudes, like, with beards bigger than me, just, like, load it up with mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Make it all shiny. It. Yeah. How the how in the world did you do this, Mallory? I don't know. My thumb. You did 5,000 in a row. I did. I don't know. I don't know what to say about how well my clicking is. My knuckles are about to give out. Ooh, here's a nice uh, mayonnaise fact. Plant leaves and piano keys can be easily cleaned using mayonnaise. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Only those things? In, only those two things? In this specific uh, fact, yes, only those two things. So you just, I guess because it's ivory. I guess. I don't know. I did read ceramic. online uh, somewhere, too, where you can use mayonnaise uh, to, like, clean the top of, a, like, a coffee table, and it would, like, take the rings off of from, like, drinks and stuff. Oh, yeah. really? Mm -hmm. Like on wood? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's a fun hack. Life hack. So are you often, are people often cleaning plant leaves? Your wife's a florist. I don't know. <laughs> Does she clean plant leaves with mayonnaise? Does she know that she could do that? I never really considered plant leaves to be dirty. You I know? guess if you were like presenting a, like a fern or something and you wanted the big leaves to be like really shiny. 
Yeah, Friends I, don't have big leaves. Maybe. I'm sorry, Kat, if you're watching this, I know I just butchered your whole profession. I'm sorry. Yeah, she can't wait for the Mayo episode to drop. <laughs> <laughs> She's upstairs sleeping right now. <laughs> She's like, I got, She's better, so I got better things to do than <laughs> tap, watch you guys ma- tap, mayonnaise. tap Mayo 10,000 times. It's crazy. It's 10,000 times to beat the game, but that one dude did 92 million. Yeah, I don't even know like how long that would take. It must be like a robot or some kind of... No one sitting down and thinking this is a good time. I just wonder what kind of post game this game has. (laughs) Any kind of replay value. Yeah. You get a whole bunch of people over to play uh, Mayo. Oh, switching hands. It's kind of like, you know, in Pokemon, you, (laughs) you beat the Elite Four, but then you can go back after the game and, like, catch some legendaries, you know? So it's like replay value i wonder what that equivalent is going to be <laughs> you have a legendary jar of mayonnaise it's gold oh, God. it's a shiny all right let's see what else we got here i don't want to be a top seller of mayonnaise like him best deal top seller <laughs> i feel like this is a lazy one not much changed for this Oh, okay, so here's a new mayonnaise fact. If if the walls of your home have become... Oh, boards for crayon art. Let your children bring out their creativity. Once they're done, just dab on some mayonnaise and uh, rub. It will neatly clean up the walls without affecting your wall colors. I feel like that is a great life pro tip. That's a, that's a good one. That way you don't have to repaint. You don't have to scold your children for, you know, coloring on the walls. Which I'm assuming you did at some point. Me? Yeah. Colored on the walls? Yeah. No. <laughs> no? You never got in trouble for that? I am not artistic in that way. I've never, like, wanted to draw a lot. I don't know. My brother used to uh, draw on... Well, he had, a, he had, like, bunk beds that were lofted. He would draw on the inside of the bunk beds. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. And uh, they knew it was him? Well, he was the only one sleeping in them, so <laughs> it had to have been. I like to think that secretly it was you. It was me. And I, <laughs> the I whole just time. did it. <laughs> yeah, completely like ruined his childhood. <laughs> I used to do that. Draw um, on the walls. Yeah, when I was real young, before I knew any better. Uh, and I remember getting in trouble, specifically. Uh, in the end, my dad supported me. What? <laughs> so now you have a guitar, a mustache, and wavy hair. I feel like there's like a story going on here. So it's like, a, I just want to play guitar with my glam style. In the end, my dad supported me. You know? <laughs> and now it's the same life, but now he has a mustache too. Alright, let's see what this one is. But now, I want to be a mime. Yeah, this is totally some dude's story. (laughs) This is like a life story of some dude. I kind of like this mime outfit for this mayonnaise jar now. And it's a little beret. It's pretty cute. You know, I think... I wonder if every every time we get a trophy, that it's like the next chapter in this... (laughs) In this this story. In the life of this mayonnaise jar. Like, I kind of want to go back now and see uh, where we started. So, at the very top. Okay, let's just follow this. Let's follow this girl. Uh, the green one. When I was a young kid... Yeah, it is! See? Select the achievement to start the story. Oh. So it's a story of this of this girl. I wanted to be a rock star. Um, an ordinary mayonnaise. Oh wait, I think you skipped one. Go back. Did I? There it is. Like, uh... My dad wanted me to be like him. Oh, my dad uh, wanted me to be like him. An ordinary man is. So I had some identity issues. I don't want to be a top seller man is like him. I just want to play my guitar with my glam style. It is a story, see? Oh, uh, okay, okay. In the end, my dad supported me. But now, I want to be a mime. Okay, I'm, I'm invested now. I got a story to rally behind. So now you have to go back too and look at them because there was another one where it was red instead of green, and I think that's another story too that you. Can yeah. Have, so. 
Let's follow this girls for now. And if we want to do a part two episode, <laughs> we can follow somebody else's story. I like this now.